Hello students, today we are going to start our new chapter uh, that is forest and lifetime. It means for the start full of life and vitality. Forests are one of the most essential renewable, renewable resources. They yield fuel, wood, timber, and many other useful products like gum, rubber, bamboo, lac, resin, etc. Forest is a system comprising various plants, animals and microorganisms. Forest in a forest tree form the uppermost layer followed by shrubs, the herbs form the lowest layer of vegetation and different layer of vegetation provide food, shelter for animals, birds and insects. That's why forest is called as dynamic living entity. Now we will discuss importance of forest. Forests are very important for us. There are many uses of forest. So we can say forests are very useful for us. Forests are valuable natural resource of following significance. So now we will discuss the important significance of forest and we can say importance of forest and first importance is they maintain the ecological balance prevent pollution floods and soil erosion second importance forest also maintain co2 and o2 concentration in the atmosphere We can say that the forest also maintains CO2 and O2 concentration in atmosphere because uh, forest and we can say in forest many trees in form of trees uh, in form of plant many plant in form of trees shrubs herbs are present and they uh, in all kind of vegetation photosynthesis process is occurred and this photosynthesis for this photosynthesis process these plants intake CO2 and they release O2 and this O2 is used by animals and uh, in respiration process and animals re uh, release oxygen in uh, sorry uh, animals release CO2 in process of respiration and if this CO2 again used by forest so, for, uh, so forest also maintains CO2 and O2 concentration in atmosphere. Now third and important use of forest is they provide the best habitat for wild animals. Forest provide habitat for wild animals and if forests are cut down then the habitat of wild animals will reduce so because of this it would be problematic for wild animal conservation so it is again a important use of forest. They provide the best habitat for wild animals. Next use of forest. Timber is used for houses, house frames, ship buildings, paper packaging and many other structures. And we can obtain timber from forest.
Now we have to use a forest. Forests are the lifeline for the forest dwelling communities. Importance of forest. Forest protect the soil from erosion. Why forest protect the soil from erosion? Because a uh, particle of soil, or we can say soil particles, are bound with the help of roots of plants. And if deforestation is occurred, there is a loss of vegetation. If the, there is a loss of vegetation, vegetation is occurred, then the binding capacity of soil particle will be reduced. And because of this, Soil erosion is occurred. So, forests again play an important role to protect the soil from erosion. Now, next, seventh important importance forest trees provide oil for cooking and in industry, syrup, resin, varnishes, dyes, rubber, latex, fiber, insecticide, etc. Medicines. Rubber, latex, resin, insecticides, now next importance of forest, forest help in bringing good rainfall in neighboring areas. So they are the use of forest. Forests are very very important for us and we can obtain many things from forest. Now a branch which deals, uh, we can say a branch of science which deals with management and development of forest and called as sylvie culture. We will discuss sylvie culture. So, silviculture is a branch of science. Deals with management and development of forest. Now, this is all about importance of forest and in which branch we can study about management and development of forest. Now, we will study about deforestation. What is deforestation and uh, what are the causes of deforestation? Deforestation is again the loss or continual degradation of forest habitat. So, next we will discuss about deforestation, which is a current issue for all of us. And which were going to be very, very hazardous for all living beings. Deforestation, it is, we can say, the loss or continual degradation of forest habitat. Due to natural or human interference called as deforestation. Due to natural and human interference. Natural interference means natural calamities and we cannot control natural calamities but we can control human interference which is responsible for deforestation. Now, causes of deforestation. There are again various causes 
of for deforestation in which first cause for deforestation is intensive agriculture intensive agriculture means extreme agriculture which is responsible for deforestation second cause for deforestation is construction of dam because construction of dam is occurred on a large area in construction of dams a large area of forest cut down so construction of dam is responsible and it is a big cause for de uh, deforestation next is farmland for grazing and overgrazing next cause of deforestation is urbanization urbanization we can say in this process uh, urban area is going to convert into we can say rural area is going to convert into urban area and in uh, we can include urbanization and urbanization responsible for deforestation because because of urbanization many multi story buildings malls and uh, many construction is going uh, going to occur and because of this large area of forest is going to cut down so urbanization again is responsible for deforestation so they are some causes of deforestation next is effect of deforestation effect of deforestation in effect of deforestation we will study um, effects uh, what is what are the effects of deforestation and uh, how deforestation will be hazardous for us in which first effect of deforestation is effect on soil roots of trees help in binding the soil particles together when this protective cover of vegetation is destroyed soil is left loose and hence more soil is lost due to erosion by wind and moving water and loss of top, top soil which is rich in humus and nutrients result in reduction in fertility of soil so effect on soil soil will be erode and this will be cause soil erosion so due to deforestation responsible for soil erosion next effect of soil erosion or uh, sorry next effect of deforestation is climatic changes increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere may, may lead to an increase in the temperature of the earth as carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that is it allows the sun's infrared radiation to enter the earth but stops them from going out of the atmosphere hence it results in an increase in temperature which makes the atmosphere dry so deforestation again effect the climatic conditions and responsible for climatic changes and it is called as and because of this carbon dioxide concentration of carbon dioxide gas will be increased and it is responsible for greenhouse effect and uh, consequences of greenhouse effect in if we talk about consequences the main consequences of greenhouse effect is global warming it means increasing of temperature so we can say deforestation 
responsible for greenhouse effect because because of green because of deforestation CO2 will be increased and that's why greenhouse effect and it is responsible for global warming. Next effect of deforestation is landslides and flood. Now deforestation because of deforestation loss of vegetation will be occurred and vegetation helps to absorb the rain water that falls on the earth. So due to deforestation vegetation loss will be occurred and as we know vegetation helps to absorb the rain water that falls on the earth now excessive falling of trees would mean that a greater proportion of the rain may reach the ground. So we can say due to this greater proportion of the rain water may reach the ground. And it will be responsible for flood. Like this, loss of vegetation may lead to reduction in binding capacity of soil particle also during rainy season which is turn lead to landslides in mountain region. So we can say because of deforestation, binding capacity of soil particle will be reduced. And it will be caused of landslides in mountain region. Now, next effect of deforestation is desertification. Deforestation is a major cause which leads to change in the soil properties. Physical properties of soil get affected by plantation and vegetation. Due to soil erosion, the top fertile layer of soil will be removed and because of this, soil property will be, uh, we can say, the good quality of soil will be reduced. So, we can say, uh, because of this, gradually the fertile land gets converted into desert and it is called desertification. So, deforestation is again responsible for desertification because deforestation is responsible for soil erosion and because of soil erosion top soil of soil will be removed which is a fertile layer of soil And because of this, fertility of soil will be reduced. And we can say gradually the fertile land gets converted into So they are effects of deforestation in which we, we have studied Effect on soil and effect on soil is soil erosion, climatic changes, landslides and floods, and desertification. Now, next class we will study about food chain, food web, and about chipko movement.